I think empowerment is probably one of the most critical tools that every organization has to use and the most difficult thing to get employees to use. I think without empowerment, there is no chance that you will become a service leader. I'm John Scholl. I want to share some ideas about empowerment. My definition of empowerment is I want employees to make a very fast decision on the spot in favor of a customer. I want them to bend the rules. I want them to do whatever they got to do on the spot to have an over happy customer. See, I have a very simple concept that if you have millions of over happy customers, you own the market. The difficulty is that it's almost impossible to get an employee to use empowerment. It's, it's like asking for two miracles at the same time. See, training is the key to empowerment and empowerment is the key to creating a service culture. Why is that? Because during the day, there are so many unique things that pop up. Every customer is different. But the employees were rule-driven, were policy-driven, were sorry, sir, the coupon expired yesterday. You are screwed. Goodbye. We don't want your business. You should have been here yesterday. We want employees to use common sense. See, I have a just a real simple policy and procedure and philosophy that says if you have an over happy customer you get rich. Money falls from the sky into your bank account. Empowerment is the ultimate in customer service. It's just an absolute game changing practice that cannot hurt it will help. Elated customers are the lifeblood of any business. It improves your job performance. It makes you an asset if you can use empowerment. Let me give you an example of empowerment. I uh, started doing business at a, at a credit union called Star Choice and uh, this was about a year ago and I'd, it was probably the first month and I didn't know what time the bank opened up. I was there at 7.15 in the morning. Waiting in the parking lot, an employee drove up and I got out of my car and I said, what time does the bank open up? And she said, Mr. Scholl, the drive-in opens at 7.30, the bank opens at 9. If you'll just wait a couple minutes, I'll go into the bank and open up the front door for you. I thought, holy catfish! Wow! So while in the bank, doing my transactions, the vice president came in and he poured me a cup of coffee. A little bit later, the president came in and he poured a refill. See, they have built a culture around the customer experience. So when we talk about empowerment, we're not always talking about spending a lot of money because it didn't cost anything to open the front door to let a valued customer come in who was new, who had really not been doing business at the bank before. And today I have a lot of loans. I do a huge amount of business at Star Choice, all based on that. See, Empowerment is not about breaking the rules, but bending them to keep the customer happy. Again, if we have over happy customers, we're really in great shape. Now, I think there are three reasons why people will not use empowerment. Fears, okay? And think about what those fears are right now. Let me tell you what I believe 99% of the people in your organization are thinking about. See, they know that if they made that empowered decision, they opened the front door to that bank at 7.15 in the morning. They know for sure, without any question, they would lose their job. So the number one fear, and people just know it. They absolutely know it. They will lose their job if they make an empowered decision. The second fear that people have, you, you let the guy use his coupon that expired yesterday at the restaurant, you're paying for it. It's coming right out of your salary. I can't believe you'd be that dumb. You are paying for it. We, you know, we don't make a lot of money, many of us employees, so we're not willing to gamble it. And then the third, how could you be so stupid? I mean, I thought I had a bright person working for us. Don't you understand that we have rules and policies, and in the future, if you're going to keep your job here and you're going to work with us, I need you to use your head instead of making dumb decisions like that and taking care of the customer the way you did it. See, we don't want to be chewed out. We don't want to get screamed at. It's not worth it. So the question, and by the way, every 
CEO I have ever talked about agrees with my concept of empowerment. They want employees to make fast decisions on the spot in favor of customers. See, the goal of any company should be to hire people who are not afraid to stand out. And unfortunately, the system is set up to hire those who fit in. See, when we talk about empowerment, we've got to realize that half of our marketing money is wasted. The problem is we don't know which half. So now you got an employee, they're going to make a decision in favor of the customer. Maybe they got a problem on the warranty. And they make a decision instantly in favor of the customer. Now you got an over happy customer. You got a targeted customer. Okay? Think of all of the advertising that we spend money on. Most of it doesn't do any good. So just imagine what you could do with an entire workforce of empowered employees ready to do whatever it takes to succeed. That's the empowerment zone. See, when I talk about empowerment, the concept I have is I want you to have millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of overhappy customers. Let me tell you what, if you have millions of overhappy customers, if you have people that are in love with your company, the money will fall from the sky. You will own the market. You will crush your competition. And you will become the most successful organization in your market area. I'd love to be of help. My name is John Scholl.